Welcome to Costa Rica, the jewel of Central America. Costa Rica, whose name in English means rich coast, is bordered by Nicaragua on the north and Panama on the south. European settlers began to arrive in 1522, and for nearly three centuries, Spain administered the region as part of the Captaincy General of Guatemala under a military governor. Costa Rica became independent from Spain in 1821 and has been relatively stable ever since. Costa Rica's stable economy is based primarily on tourism, electronic exports, and agriculture. Poverty has been substantially reduced over the past 15 years, and a strong social safety net, including well-developed education and health systems, has been put into place. Foreign investors remain attracted by the country's political stability and high education levels, and tourism continues to bring in significant foreign exchange. During the past 10 years, economic development in Costa Rica has changed substantially, in the sense that new activities uh, came up, and now we have tourism as one of the main economic sectors. We have non-traditional agriculture export into the world, and we have a lot of new services. All of this has changed very dramatically the uh, uh, economic situation in Costa Rica and the production uh, of uh, Costa Rica also, with creating new employment opportunities and new, export, uh, uh, new exports to the world. Costa Rica's financial sector includes the central bank, three state-owned commercial banks, and over 15 private commercial banks, along with many other types of financial services firms. They all benefit from Costa Rica's long tradition of supporting democracy and free market principles, as well as the country's exceptional history of peaceful and orderly government. The development of the banks here in Costa Rica in the last 10 years or so has been very, very strong. Uh, really, the, 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 the private banking in Costa Rica started about 15 years ago. So they have, uh, they became a very important uh, group within the banking system. Now we have the public banks and we have private banks very, very active, all of them. We have re uh, regional banks, uh, local banks, uh, foreign banks and uh, they play a very important role, the private banking in Costa Rica now, uh, uh, which they couldn't do before because uh, banks were a monopoly of the government until about 15 years ago. Controlling the budget deficit remains the biggest challenge for the country's policymakers. Interest payments related to this deficit consumed around 32.1% of the government's total revenues last year and approximately 18.9% of the national budget was financed by public borrowing. This limits the resources available for needed investment in the country's public infrastructure. The Costa Rican uh, uh, negative budget, uh, which is a permanent thing here in this country, affects very seriously the whole development of the country, the banking system, everything, because uh, the government doesn't have enough income to be able to develop uh, activities regarding social aspects and education, etc. So it really affects in a very negative way the whole economy of Costa Rica. In the 1990s, manufacturing and industry overtook agriculture in contribution to the country's GDP largely thanks to foreign investment in Costa Rica's free trade zones. Over half of this investment was from the United States. Costa Rica's economy is very dependent on foreign trade. Uh, trade represents more than 90% of our GDP. In other words, we are condemned to be traders. We need to import, we need to export. We produce what we do not consume, and we consume what we do not produce. The United States is Costa Rica's most important trading partner, accounting for over half of Costa Rica's tourism revenues and more than two-thirds of its foreign investment. 
two-way trade between Costa Rica and the United States exceeded six billion U.S. dollars in 2003. Costa Rica has sought to widen its economic and trade ties, both within and outside the region, and recently concluded negotiations with the United States to participate in the U.S.-Central American Free Trade Agreement, U.S.-CAFTA. Costa Rica today is an economy highly integrated already with the, the United States. Uh, half of all our exports go to the United States, half of all our imports come from the United States. Most of the tourism that we are receiving are American <laughs> making holidays in Costa Rica. Uh, most of foreign investment uh, in Costa Rica comes from, uh, from uh, U.S. companies. So today uh, we have a very close relationship with the United States. Now this uh, relationship will be become deeper uh, once we have CAFTA because obstacles uh, for trade and investment will be reduced. Costa Rica's major economic resources are its fertile land and frequent rainfall, its well-educated population, and its location in the Central American Isthmus, which provides easy access to North and South American markets and direct ocean access to Europe and Asia. This combination of positive factors has created a unique economic and industrial environment and many American and international companies have chosen to make Costa Rica their base in Central America and in Latin America. Coming up next, transport. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv. Welcome to relaxation and comfort in a beautiful historic building at the Grand Hotel Costa Rica. Located in the center of San Jose, we first opened our doors in 1930 and are proud of our long history. Our casino, restaurant, coffee shop, bars and convention center are very popular. Ideal for both business and leisure visitors, our rooms and facilities are exceptional. The Grand Hotel Costa Rica, an historic, elegant setting with modern facilities. Costa Rica has many magical ingredients. One of them, it's beer. Imperial, the beer of Costa Rica. Porta Vida. For business and leisure travelers wanting more than just a hotel, welcome to the Casa Conde Apart Hotel and Suites in San Jose. We have 110 luxurious air-conditioned two-bedroom apartments with a fully equipped kitchen, living, and dining rooms. An ideal short or long-term lat, our premium facilities include a jacuzzi, pool, gym, sauna, business center, internet wireless, meeting rooms, and our special Rincon del Conde restaurant. When time is valuable, location is priceless. Casa Conde Apart Hotel and Suites, more than just a hotel. Welcome to relaxation and comfort in a beautiful historic building at the Grand Hotel Costa Rica. Located in the center of San Jose, we first opened our doors in 1930 and are proud of our long history. Our casino, restaurant, coffee shop, bars and convention center are very popular. Ideal for both business and leisure visitors, our rooms and facilities are exceptional. The Grand Hotel Costa Rica, an historic, elegant setting with modern facilities. Costa Rica has many magical ingredients. One of them, it's beer. Imperial, the beer of Costa Rica. Porta Vida. For more information, visit www.us-television.tv.
Unlike some of its neighbors, Costa Rica offers investors many of the benefits of operating in a developed country, including significant economic incentives and infrastructure that can fulfill the needs of national and international investors. The country has an extensive road system of more than 30,000 kilometers. Although much of it is in disrepair, and most parts of the country are accessible by road, the main highland cities in the country's central valley are connected to each other and to the coast by paved all-weather roads, while the Pan American Highway links Costa Rica to its neighbors Nicaragua and Panama and to countries beyond. Costa Rica's ports and railroads are expected to be open to competitive bidding opportunities for private investment and management in the near future. Costa Rica has transformed its economy significantly over the past decade so that microchips and software have replaced coffee and bananas as the country's top exports. Costa Rica not only offers a highly educated IT workforce, ranked 28th in the world in expertise, but also an advanced telecommunications infrastructure that includes an efficient domestic telephone system, fiber optic and coaxial cable links, international connections through the Central American Microwave System, satellite earth stations, and two submarine cables. You know, for many years, Costa Rica has been spending more than 6% of GDP on public education. That's why we have such a well-educated labor force. And that's why uh, high-tech industry has become uh, the main export sector for our economy. Now, since the mid-'80s, uh, uh, we became a moral power uh, by trying to pacify the whole region here in Central America. And that has allowed tourists to come here uh, and that has become the main industry nowadays. Costa Rica offers outstanding tourism attractions that include a wide range of landscapes from rugged volcanoes to pristine beaches and rainforests all within a relatively small area that can easily be explored thanks to the country's developed infrastructure. Although it covers only 0.03% of the surface of the planet, Costa Rica accounts for approximately 6% of Earth's biodiversity and has long been known as one of the world's top ecotourism destinations. Costa Rica is, in fact, a paradise for nature lovers and sports enthusiasts. Visitors can view rare animals and plants, hike in unspoiled ring forests, kayak down some of the world's most unspoiled rivers, surf and scuba dive along the country's two coasts, and much more. Direct flights from the United States to San Jose and to Liberia on the country's northwest coast have boosted Costa Rica's tourism arrivals. Costa Rica attracts many different types of tourists. The country has a tradition of catering to budget travelers, but the recent increase in construction of luxury hotels and resorts, particularly near San Jose and along the country's northwest coastline, has resulted in strong growth in the numbers of high-end visitors. There are many opportunities for American investors in the real estate and tourism sectors throughout Costa Rica. The Costa Rican government is committed to preserving the country's ecotourism potential by ensuring that new tourism developments preserve Costa Rica's natural heritage. Thank you for watching Costa Rica, the jewel of Central America. We hope you've enjoyed viewing the different perspectives on this dynamic and growing economy.